All right, joining me today is Nate Bowman and Rush Kane with Weld Labs. We don't really have a curriculum that we work off of. Slow down just a little bit more. Welding's different in every state we've been to. We're just like, hey, we're here to teach you about welding. What do you want to know? And we just go from there. Well, we're in Florida. It's 10 minutes to seven. We're waiting for Jason Becker to get here. Good to see you, man. How are you, How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Probably about a year ago, I think I was talking to Russian Nate. I had him on the podcast and they said, hey man, we got this great idea. We want to start bouncing around to different welding schools and kind of getting educators and students caught up into some of the more advanced processes. It's because everything that I go to, I learn more and more and more information. Like, you know, he's looked at as, you know, kind of at the top of the food chain in the welding industry. Because if you don't go out and seek that information, it, you're going to be left behind. He's still going to classes and taking trainings. I mean, he took, I don't know, two or three trainings in the past, like, couple months. Going out there and pairing up with people that promote that kind of thing in the industry is really important. Like, the weld that's on the side of the spaceship, if it's a fillet weld on carbon steel, it's the same exact weld that's on the side of the dumpster in the parking lot. We're very transparent that we don't necessarily have a plan and very transparent that we're here for the students and that that's the main focus. So our voltage, we can only change so much, right? Your question? Like what were you doing in your previous job? You can't jobs? have half that experience. It's kind of scary because you have the, the welding inspector. Things get a lot more real because they ask real questions that like can determine the course of like their life and their career. When you share your knowledge and you help people advance and gain, that creates way more value of you. The classroom portion reaches like a boiling point where they're just ready to go out into the lab. All about diving deeper into welding, you know? We want to take people down the rabbit hole. The best thing that we could do is go spend time with the next generation of welders that's going to come and take our place. I seem so fascinated by uh, showing them these processes. Talking with one of the students that stayed after on lunch, and he was just saying, like, this is so good to see. I do it for all processes. Yeah. Like, he was so excited. He's like, man, I thought welding was just welding, but this is so cool to see that it's, like, actually a science. TIG welding, it's a hands-on, more technical process. Being able to see somebody do it that has experience in the industry, it helps expedite that learning curve. We came back and the students were trying to figure out how he feeds his filler metal. I can control a lot with it. It doesn't really matter how you do it. It's okay to carry your personal experience and, and get personal with this as long as you stick to the technical facts and the raw science of welding. You know, we try to show people what they want to see. And we just go from there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for your class, they were like, we want to learn about STT. And I had a rush weld. And then it's like, hey, this is that waveform in the book. Here it is on the screen and you just That's watched like, it happen. That's like weld science at work right there. You know, when you look at a waveform and everything, you really don't understand it until you've got somebody pulling the trigger and you can see it in real time what the amperage is actually doing, how it's fluctuating. It makes a lot more sense. The perception of welders is that, you know, we're like hard-headed and we don't want to listen, but we don't see that with the people that we show up and and like work with. Like literally, that's flag. Like that's the example that we're trying to set. That the next generation of welders can look at their welds and look for feedback from other welders and be okay with that. You can do this all on your own. You don't need me to tell you whether there's fusion in this or not. Where the old culture is kind of just like, this is the way we've always done it. 
you know, look how great my weld looks. And it's like, let's cut it open. And they're like, nah, I don't need to. Yeah. And and you're like, okay. Don't destroy the last 20 years of my life. I think I've been doing everything right. We don't want to be the only people doing this. That's the whole point of Weld Labs is like, we're trying to create the roadmap for people to do this. There isn't a curriculum. There's not an easy answer. It's so much more complicated. You know, we've done three different schools and we've taught three completely different classes. 